Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Java JDK and how to download an IDE. An IDE is something that you can use to write the code with, and we're going to use in Clips. So I'll show you how to download that and how to install it. Download Java. Go to your web browser and type in Java JDK. Let's select the download. Um, what we're looking for here is uh, Java SE Development Kit 8. Once we get there, scroll down. Windows 64 bit, whatever your machine is, select it. And Accept the license agreement, accept this license agreement. <clears throat> Select the version you want, which is mine is Windows 64. And then just wait for it to download. Once it does download, then you can install it. Now it's downloaded. Yes, we do want to make changes. The wizard is going to walk us through it, so we're just going to have to click next a bunch of times. Yeah, click next. This folder will do just fine, so we click next.
and then we don't want to do anything else so just click close and that's it it's done eclipse.org that'll do Once you get here, go to ID and Tools. Then click on this one, Java IDE. Now you want Windows 64 bit, or maybe you want Windows 32 bit, or maybe you want Mac or something else. Um, but I'm loading, I, I'm downloading this onto 64 bit Windows, so I'm going to select that one. <coughs> Don't select this, it's going to take ages. Select one one of these. Um, I've selected this one, so you would just click on there. And then click on this Windows 64-bit or whatever your operating system is. And then click Save. Uh, I put my download, I've dragged my download uh, Eclipse into uh, documents and then what I did was I select, go to extract, go to extract to all and then this is going to extract it and put it into this, into documents. So you would go ahead and push extract, extract. Um, I've already done that so I don't need to now we click on, once it's extracted, click on it and go into this folder and this icon here where it says application Eclipse, select that. It's going to ask you about a workspace. Um, you can just leave that as it is. It's just where it's going to save your work. So then click launch. and let's let's just put this in the full screen that's better okay so now this is your, your welcome screen and you're going to be able to to use your uh, um, your IDA it doesn't look much at the moment So um, if, if we just get rid of that, and now you can you can see the uh, uh, the the actual software itself where you're going to be doing the typing. So we make a new Java project. And we can give it a name. And then uh, we can we can choose which which version we use here. We've we've got that one. And then click finish. Select test. Then do the alternate click on source. New class.
and we give it a name. Hello. Um, we we'll select this. We don't need that. And here we have uh, some code. It set up the class for us. It's already put in public static uh, static void main. And then we're going to test it out in the traditional way. That should be a capital. Now, when we want to test it, we go up here to run. Run as Java application. Select OK. And it prints out hello world. So we know that it's working. So that that's basically all you have to do. And then you can I suggest you have a little look and see what's in all of these these uh, drop down menus. Uh, check out what all of these are so you get some idea and realize that like you know your 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 work is gonna be over here and source when you want to create a new file or a new class i should say you alternate click on there select new and go to class or package or interface or whatever it is that you're doing but we're just be using class for now so that um you get to grips with the basics of java if you like this video give it a thumbs up and try out one of my other videos